have a look. Can't be a good spot. I don't know why I went as far as that. Uh, okay. Let's not lose all our good guys. We'll just put our guys in random locations like this. I don't want Aqua in the front, though. Could be dead at any moment. It's fine. There's their archer. Okay. One. Two. Probably in fucking range of that archer right now. Okay. Use the scouting whistle with the war dog so we can get plus 50% scouting. To oh, you're making more dark stuff jumps. I'm like, what? I'm like, is this actually a thing? Is there actually a scouting attached to the war dog? No. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, I don't think there's going to be anything from the south we can approach from. Let's look for the north then. It's good the AI just doesn't move around at all. has a low morale flag. It's nice. It means he's even less accurate than he would be otherwise. Alright, the only thing we have to kind of be worried about is if we do find a position where we can snipe that archer, I assume once we kill the archer, all their melee starts moving around. I don't want all my guys in the way near it when it happens, so let's start moving a little bit back this way. Uh, come back that way. You're just going to poke around just in case I find something weird over here, like this hill. Look real promising up there. Should be mandatory. I know this is randomly generated, but it should be mandatory if you have some bullshit position like this and the AI refuses to move that there is a way to flank around to it. I don't know why they get to choose the ground. We've one fucking archer and refused to move. Pretty sure I can be hit here and I can't hit back. Oh, this guy's over here now. Can I hit him next turn? I wonder if he can see me. Alright, we'll risk a turn getting shot at by a demoralized archer in, uh, versus the guy with all the defensive quirks. I might be to shoot him. I don't think so, though. I think that's the same height as here. I don't think he's considered one down. There's this aqua. Okay. Another hound. Do we have a hound we could drop on him? Oops. The 
wide, wide flanks. That's a hound. I don't really want the hound to die. It's not worth 400 gold to kill a archer. Because I can shoot that. It's funny. Alright, so we gotta hope for something up there we can use. Or something to the south, I guess. What if we did find something to the south? We have to run all the fucking way down there. South is actually farther away. I don't know, man. That's the edge of the map over there. How do we even come at this? We gotta run up everywhere we go. Should be 100%. It should be a win if we explore 100% of this. I don't know how we approach that besides just running at him and getting drilled by the fucking archer. I mean, that guy, as far as I can tell, that guy hasn't even moved. Alright, let's look at elevations. That tile is elevated and these are the same? No, is there not? Is there one elevation down? Everyone has the same size shield. The other thing is, I can't get any better. I mean, he's going to be three levels of elevation above me, wherever I'm attacking him from. Like, I can't... I don't know, maybe there's something in here we can look for. Let's try to get a little bit more information at the top. But, I mean, this is a pretty... I mean, the rest of the map just ends, right? So... Gotta get lucky up here, I guess. Where is this guy? no benefit to being here, right? That looks... That's the same elevation. I might be able to use that tile. Alright, that's a long ways, but that looks like the best chance we've had so far. Okay, let's go find it. Let's go check that out. It's like 10 turns to get down there and be like a 40 turn fight. But I'm very, very fucking tired of attacking into uh, elevated uh, poachers. We refuse to move even when I have more archers. Why is it always on me, AI? I shouldn't be this close to the side there, I might get shot. What is this guy, blind? Yeah, he's not my scout at all. Do I have any guys who can see better than this guy? So either I move my guy down to here and approach this position. So we like start here and like run up there. Or we try to look for something up here. Either way, it's like 10 turns of movement. All right. I think we're going south. Decision's been made. The only other thing I'm considering doing is dropping a dog, like, right here. If we drop a dog there, the dog will, like, run down and they catch the archer in the back, at least potentially. Might just die, though. I don't think it's worth it. Alright. Who's moving? the other thing. I was supposed to be putting dogs on the, uh, not on the tank, but on the, uh, the guy who has the action to use them. He's hopping up and down. It's you. Maybe 
Maybe we can try flanking with Biocarbonal. It's hard to tell whose turn it is, because they hop up and down when it's their turn. But they're so we're so far zoomed out because we have so much space covered. It's really tough to tell. The AI just stays stationary during all this. So I said about trying to outweigh it. It's infinitely patient. It's up here again. the dumb guy. The dumb guy needs to go first. He'll be like, this is the most brilliant plan ever. They'll never expect us to have rotated in 20 turns, four tiles south. Who is our dumb guy? Brain damage. Oh! This is what I was worried about! Archer in the fog! Dear God. Okay, he's moved to here. He just shot us there. It's like a nine tile range. Too much respect to this archer. Maybe. Yeah. They don't have blast, they just have a bunch of crossbows in the fog. That could be. I have no idea. I've only seen about five guys. Building up serious fatigue, just running around. That was a so they have a bowman and a crossbow then. Okay. Fun emergent gameplay. Approaching archers on hills is not exactly an extremely fun thing to do here. I'll give you that 100%, guys. 100%. Especially before kite, uh, kite shields. And before we have anything resembling team capable of doing it. Where is Sir Skidmore? Oh, that's this guy. Okay. Is that a BB version of a crab fight? Maybe. We're maneuvering for uh, tactical advantage. It's just taking us uh, 22 turns. And we're almost set up. Probably need about five more turns to get there. Except this guy. This guy's super out of there. Oh, it's my guy again. I'm gonna bust this fog up here.
going on over here? Let's... Flanking them with... We're back flanking them from four directions. It's okay. There's only about two of our guys actually doing it. They still have eight guys left in better armor than us. It's going to be an awkward reload. I'm going to be like, this is a good strategy. Let's uh, just bring it back five turns. Just have to take 18 turns again to explore the map. You cry for reload after this, yeah, yeah. High ground there and here, kind of. Bit worried about that guy. Considering dropping two dogs on this as soon as we start, but we'll see. This is the guy who needs to take the the high ground. This is a 70 stamina loss. Okay. If we don't get shot here, I'm just gonna take like three rounds. Get the stamina down. I think we're gonna starve them out. That's our plan. Cut off all avenues of escape. Do it. I'm not just doing it. It's terrible. Terrible advice. We'll sneak up on him when he's least prepared. Which is turn 46. Statistically proven to be the least prepared turn. be awesome if you were still taking provision rounds during this. Alright. Took us three rounds of uh, stamina recovery to get the archer. Okay. So, where are we? I think it's this turn we're going to try something. should approach from so he doesn't die. It's a half armor. I have no idea how long this has been, Aqua. Yeah, they're trying to kill Aqua. Just hit him in the fucking chest and almost killed him. 
Because this is absolute bullshit. Can't even return fire from here. He doesn't even have the dog. I thought he had the dog. Or one of them. This guy does. Uh, how much does it cost to release? Three. Go there. standing on hills always fun <laughs> they almost fucking killed aqua again unreal Another archer over there. There's eight of them, and like, and they just switched, and now they're gonna be attacking the dog. I really don't want that. Considered melee? Yeah, he is. What was that? More of the swapping. Right. Uh, what do we have? Sister skids more. To get to here. Hold a real weapon. Probably good. Nice. Dog got freed. Alright. Coming in for the long flank. That's supposed to be knock, not shield wall. I keep messing those up. Still a fucking unattended archer. They're killing the dogs! I'm gonna have to load this. Killing my dogs. Why is that only a 12%? What is giving him cover? I move to there, does he have cover? Yeah, there's a fucking rock. Why can't I see him? Out of ammo. We really managed to fire 20.
brutal approach. We'd been fine if the swaps didn't exist, but the swapping their uh, their melee into our dogs is super bad. Well, this is not the guy who can swap his weapons and his melee. It's kind of terrible. Do I just keep shooting over there and hoping? Roll on the one and twenty. That's bad. Is this? just keeps going up and up and up. That's even higher elevation than they were on. It's like six tiles of elevation or something stupid. If I knock him, does it knock him here? We'll never know because we missed two fifty-five percenters. I'm supposed to move over and attack that guy. Oops. I guess I can try to make them break. It's breaking, but not broken. Should just save that dog until next round. Uh, who can we actually do damage to? Shield, night, nighttime shield wall. We're gonna beat up here. Might be able to knock him. A little bit of damage there. Didn't break him again. They can't get a check for that, right? Uh, I need to switch gear. Wait, is that my own guy? Screen covered right there? Yeah, but that one's not. Okay. What happens if I hit him right now with this? I don't know. We can't connect. I don't know what happens when you hit someone with the shield, uh, the shield bash when they can't move. Dude, this fucking cycle is brutal. Uh, I wonder if I can attack that guy even though he's on a different elevation. Or the same elevation. If I move down one and then attack him, I'm just try to rotate camera. XCOM. Oh, there's a dog in the way. Let's wait. Oh, suicidal dog. And that's what we have him, honestly, but still not exactly what I want. This is the long flank. We're almost there. Another miss. Look 
Okay. Do anything. Yeah, cause she's there. Okay. Oh no, that's a dead dog though. The dog's gonna fucking attack into that unless we can cancel it. Holy shit, come on. This is six shield walls and shield bashes in a row at 50% roughly that we've missed. Six. It's fucking unbelievable. Seven. Can't do a second one apparently. Unreal. Oh, you can't shield blast, it auto blocks. Auto misses, apparently. So I've just been waiting, wasting eight of them. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Just end of the round. Yeah, dead dog. Rip 400 gold. It's really obnoxious. Saves the dog. Clean. Good. That guy's fleeing as well. Axe in three turns. Five turns because we could push him. We can't hit there. 21%. Oh, the value. Can't quite get there. Um, how much fatigue does it take to do this? Four. physical damage on him might cancel his stuff. Is that Archer in the back fleeing yet? No. So I don't trust Aqua over there. Maybe I could come over this way. I don't know. I bet you he just shoots and kills me if I do that. No, oh, no. Don't go after me. Okay. That's still bad unless this guy's fleeing, which he's not yet.
Hey, the flank paid off. Easy game. Nice to get some more damage on that. Kill the dog. I'm gonna be really not annoyed about it. Uh, one of my old guys can get hit there. No. <laughs> Could have attacked, but by moving, I can cancel my own attack. Yeah. Hit him in the head, destroyed his helmet. I don't know how I feel about that. gonna get huge value this fight I can tell. It's breaking but not broken. Double miss. It's good. Can't get into those positions. I don't think you could pay me 300 gold to play this mission again. Okay, both fleeing, nice. A kind gesture. Holy crap. Hey, Billy. Yep. Plenty of chance to get a new one. It's been 36 rounds. We're gonna run them the fuck down and they're gonna like it. Might need a slight break uh, after this one, back. I think. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Gear. Oh, we don't have enough stamina to attack him with that. Probably means we're not going to have stamina to attack him with the other one either. Welcome back. Lord Solar Steve. Thanks for the reset, man. That's another miss. Alright, which one do we value slightly more? That one? This one has gear still. Oh, I don't even know why I ask things like, what do I value? Our characters can't hit a target. <laughs> Still fleeing, they're still fleeing. Alright. They'd be less tired at this point. Apparently not. Alright, it's victory! We lost a dog and a bunch of help health on Aqua. It took us 37 rounds. 187 gold. Fifteen, two hundred fifteen armors. 
Easy fight. Easy fight. Oh, welcome back, man. Feels like it's been longer. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Another boar spear is useful. Two arming swords is amazing. That was actually good loot. Not going to deny that was worthwhile, but kind of sucked. It sucks when they're on this unapproachable high ground that you just... There's no way to flank that. I explored the entire fucking map, and there's no, no way to flank that. So it's pretty painful. All right. Ike got his first level up. We have uh, people Billy asked for a character, so we need to set that up. Um, who do we want? Should young Ike be Billy, or she'll be... Oh, this guy's pretty...